Hey guys, Heavy on 45 here. I was, I told y'all last time that I had a list of two different things that I want to talk about that dealt with um, a top, a top five list of um, abilities that I want. The last time I did quirks, this time I'm doing devil fruits. Um, and unlike the ones about quirks, there is not many support items when it comes to, there's not a support devil fruit. If you have devil fruit, you're a character. You can be in the shadows, but you're still a character. Um, Smoker is not a main character, but when you see him, you know there's trouble. Crocodile is a character. The only people who are support is people who don't have quirks or is not some way special. Like Zoro has no quirk. I mean, not no quirk, has no del fruit, but he carries three sword. I mean, he attacks people with three swords. And the reason that's amazing that one of the swords is in his mouth because his teeth is strong as hell. Um, yeah. So like the list i don't have any particular order they in. i'm just gonna tell you the fruits that i would think i would like to have number five is puddings uh devil fruit the mimo mimo no uh no me which is the memory memory fruit her ability allows her to look at the memory you have and literally take her a pair of scissors, cut it out, and change what you remember. She can edit your memories. That seems evil. But if you're trying to make sure you did something right, yeah, I would do that. Uh, like, that's evil. No. Think about all the times you made mis you asked somebody a question that you did wasn't happy with or you did something that you're like oh i messed up in this yeah i don't want if i don't want to remember i don't want you to remember it either you know is it wrong to take away a person's memory because you don't want them to remember it? yeah yeah it is but does that mean i'm gonna let you keep that memory no no it doesn't you know the memory memory fruit is all about controlling people's memories like it never happened like i'm sure there are stuff in y'all lives that y'all like hey um i don't want y'all to remember this so it never happened and that's why i would use that quirk i mean use that sorry say a quirk earlier and still stuck on quirk that's why i would use that devil fruit to cut out memories that i don't want somebody else to remember because i don't like being embarrassed so i'm not gonna let myself be embarrassed that way another um devil fruit that i want is the tremor tremor fruit used by whitebeard now owned by blackbeard i hate blackbeard so much but being able to make earthquakes was something that I really liked. I mean, like, literally hit the air and the water starts making waves. Like, you can make a tidal wave basically by just hitting the air. You, because it's not just an earthquake, it's just like you, it's quake. It's just you quaking the air to make basically pushing out a, a quake wave that goes through the air, hitting the water that's next to you. I'm like, yes. You know, why would I do that? Well, a world full of nothing but water. Well, majority of water. There is no planes, nothing but boats. Because we'll say that I'm in that world. There's nothing but boats. Hell yeah, I will use that. Every time somebody try to tap me, quake. That ships all of a sudden starts getting knocked back or get flipped over just because I use my devil fruit. Hell yeah, I use that. That sounds like something worth using. You know, 
That devil fruit is meant for you to be on the water. <laughs> meant you to be on water. And think about it. Somebody comes at you on land with an army of people. Think they finna get you. You hit the ground one good time. Everybody's on fall. And possibly you might cause a cave in around you. The next one, which will be number three, because, you know, I'm not really counting these, um, is the shadow shadow fruit that Moria has. And this one, yes, it's an evil down fruit. You know, you're basically forcing the dead to come back to life by taking their shadow and putting it into someone else. But think about all the stuff you could do the reason i would use it is because there's no one who knows anything about the void century in one piece if i was trying to figure out about the void century i would definitely take somebody who would have lived back during that time or somebody who's been studying it like let's say the whole city that robin comes from that had a buster call on them that would destroyed it yeah go there find one of their bodies take a sh see if i can find one of their shadows i mean find a shadow of one of them take it hook it up to a dead body or i forgot exactly how it did yeah they took a person's shadow i'm sorry they took another person's shadow put it to a dead body and it brought those certain people back to life with their memories so yeah sorry so yeah sure i would take somebody else uh shadow but i'll give it back you know and you'll be able to find out so much stuff i mean what's the old saying that pirates you say dead man tell no tales with me using the shadow shower fruit, dead men tell a lot of tales. And you would not know what they told me because I'm going to make sure I'm going to keep it to myself. And what's the downside of somebody saying I took their soul? I mean, took their shadow. Because in a way, taking your shadow kind of was like taking your soul. Because if sunlight hit you, all of a sudden you dissolved. But that's besides why I didn't care about that, you know. I'm trying to get to the truth. And the truth is, I want to know what happened during this void century. I really want to know. I don't want to wait till the end of One Piece to figure it out either. Um, now, number two, and I feel like this one's taking less time than the one before, is the stone stone fruit used by Pico. One of Do Flamingo's gang. And it's kind of like Cementos, but better. Um, Pika literally is a earth elemental using this Del Fruit. He is able to just, he's not able to just go into the stone, he's able to actually become the st a part of the stone. Because the whole time, Zoro is fighting basically a giant mountain. And he's attacking and cutting off different parts of the mountain. But that's not where Pika is. Pika is basically swimming through parts of it. So it's like, I'm trying to find the heart of this stone golem. But I can't find the main stone to it. Until finally Zoro did. But, you know, that's the whole point of it. So... If I wanted to be a pirate or stuff like I wouldn't be a pirate. I'd probably stay on land because that's where my stuff is most effective on land. Because unless you don't have a giant stone boat, which would be completely stupid because stone doesn't float. So, yeah, that would be weird if you had floating stone. But, yeah, I would love to have that power. You know, think about. If you did something like that, the amount of ju uh, money you could find through that way. You could find gold and stuff like that. It's more like, let's dig for gold. Give me a sec. Just go through the earth. I'm like, I found this. Just lift up like 
several different giant veins of gold that you found just going through the earth. That's what I would do. Might be kind of slow, but that's what I do. And this seems like it's going faster than the one, the previous one. But that's how it goes, I guess. The last one that I have is... The Hobby Hobby Fruit used by Sugar. Now, I was a jerk for having puddings. Um, yeah, pudding made me a jerk. Having Sugar's Quirk just makes me a butthole to the 10th degree. Sugar's Quirk, not only does it basically... She touches you. And it's a multi-effect quirk. I mean, not quirk. Devil fruit. It's a multi-effect uh, devil fruit. When she touches you, she turns you into a toy. But it's not just that she turns you into a toy. Once you get turned to a toy, you, you don't die. And no one in your family remembers you. And... When she turns you into a toy, she sets up the rules for what happens with you. So, in most cases, she makes it to where you can't even tell your family that you are you. You can't write to them that you are you. You can't give them any indication that somebody turns you into that. And not only that, but it wipes you from the memories of everyone who knew you. And anyone who might have known you. Your neighbor that lives next door to you. Doesn't remember you. Your parents. Who were so happy that they had one child. Doesn't remember you. You know. They called you their miracle baby. Doesn't remember you. And it's like. Why would you do this to these people? Have your arms. Why would you. Want the tape? Um, it's not just for the take members part. Whenever you eat this fruit, you stay that age forever. It doesn't say that you don't die per se, because if you didn't die, you would. There wouldn't be a way of somebody else getting dead fruit, besides you know literally killing you. Um, and I guess I would like to stay. If I had no choice in where I was going to die, I would like to stay as at a certain age for as long as I could. Like if I could stay at the age of 25 till I'm like 105 and then all of a sudden I just drift away. That would be interesting. You know, I'm still spry and all this stuff. And so, yeah, um, that's one of the main reasons, just the uh, immortal, well, ever young body. And, you know, if you rob, if you decide to rob somebody, why not, you know, if you're going to be a pirate, be a good pirate. And to me, that's very effective, just... Oh, look, I robbed him. Get him. What you doing here, little... What you doing here, sir? Oh, I was coming here to talk to the owner of the house. Where is he? I don't... I don't know who owns this house. I think it's up for sale. Because no one remembers you. Think about it. If, if we had some of these fruits here today... You just go up and let's say you rob Bill Gates. You're in Bill Gates' house. Police are coming in. You touch Bill Gates. Turn him into one of them little toy computers that they give the kids. Or, I'm sorry, not to say, turn him into a wooden doll that can talk. Or a tin man. All of a sudden, Sure, he's there. 
but he can't tell nobody that he's Bill Gates. No one remembers who in the world started Microsoft. His wife doesn't know why she in that house. The money that belonged to him. No one remembers it. His name is no longer known anywhere. So no one knows what to do with all his money. Actually, there'll be just a giant bank account with money in it that says that no one knows where it goes to. No one. There is no sign of him ever existing. Same thing with, you know, you would, it'll be the a most amazing, um, it would be one of the most amazing assassination plots ever because you're not killing anyone too. You could be a master assassin and everybody thinks that you've killed your target. And I know people make jokes about you being a, uh, you know, black people want their money up front. You have to ask for your money up front because if you didn't, no one would, they wouldn't know why they paid you. But you'll know why they paid you because you took care of a job for them. They welcome. You know? Um, and to be honest with you, Sugars has been on my mind for a long time. If I had to pick uh, Sugar, Pika, and um, and Moria's Shadow Shadow Fruit have been on my mind a lot more than some of these other ones. Like, I'd love the Quake Quake Fruit. And if I live in that world, it'd be very effective. Uh, bring some of these dumb fruits to here. Um, still very effective. <laughs> you know, the Quake Quake Fruit suddenly hit the air. Airplanes could be coming down because... I made a quake that gave them so much turbulence that it knocked out one of their engines. Um, and puddings, puddings, I mean, Del Fruit is very effective. Her Del Fruit makes to where, um, no, you know, I can adjust anyone's memories, but the OP version of it is still sugars. Sugars has uh, a ever, uh, everlasting young body until you die of natural causes. You get to uh, you get to get rid of your enemies, and no one ever remembers them. You know, it'll be like let's say if you're a person who likes to <sighs> this not gonna sound good if you're a person that likes to mess with different girls you know when one of them gets too old well gets too crazy you just like side to use your power they turn to a doll and you walk off everybody that knew them don't remember them they remember that they knew you, but they don't know why you were always around. You know, they remember the feeling, but they don't remember why. Like, I remember, I'm like, it's been a long time since I've seen you, uh, Heavy on 45. What, uh, what you been up to? Not much. You know, you might have had Sunday dinner at their house. They don't know why you had something dinner at the house, but they remember they used to have you over. Everything about that person in their life is gone. You know, if you're one of the people that, uh, that like I said, want to be an assassin, you take out whoever you want to and then just take their money no one remembers them all their stuff physically all their stuff is there but how can they stop you 
and eventually somebody will probably be able to scare you like they did sugar and when you freak out everybody that you change comes back and then you know you might be wanted for a while but that means that somebody has found you <laughs> Um, and that's a totally different story. But yeah, those are my uh, devil fruits that I would be interested in having if I lived in the One Piece world. Um, like I said before, I love Luffy's ability. Wouldn't want it for myself. Um, I looked at trying to uh have me a zone del fruit but i didn't see if i had to pick a zone del fruit i would want one that made me into a bear and i did not see a bear bear fruit i saw one that makes me into a mammoth one that makes me into a dragon one that makes me into a ox a fox a wolf um trying yeah it makes me the other one, but not a bear. But if I had to pick one, it'll be a bear. So if you enjoy watching One Piece, send me your top five um Del Fruits that you be interested in if you in having or just one. And maybe we could talk about uh Del Fruits that you haven't seen the show that you think would be interesting. And like I said with the quirk one, the Del Fruits are vast. There's a self, there's a Del Fruit that basically you can turn your bot stuff from your body into bombs. Which I think that was number five. He basically dug his nose, used a bullet, flicked it, and it was a bomb. I think he could have did the same thing with his hair and anything else. So yeah. Um They've been out there. And Miss Merry Christmas that she was a zone that could turn to a mole. Um yeah. Well, I'm rambling. I'll catch y'all later.